Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve simultaneous equations on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. Now for this particular question, I've chosen these two equations here. So in the graphics calculator, what you'd want to do is just click it on and go into main menu. And we're going to go down to equation. We're going to click on enter and you should have these three kind of menus here. We are going to click on F1, which is simultaneous. So that's F1 there. Because we have X and Y, the number of unknowns that we have is two. So we're gonna click on two. Now, before we enter these equations into the calculator, there is something we must actually do. We have to write it in the format of X, Y, and then the number by itself. Now, if you look at the second equation here, that has X, y and the constant by itself but if you look at the first equation we've got y and then we've got equals x plus the constant if you look in the calculator we actually have x plus y equals the constant so you need to rearrange this particular equation so that it matches x plus y or x and y as a constant so we're going to rearrange this particular equation and we're going to bring negative 3x to the left hand side it will become positive 3x so my equation then would be 3x plus 6y equals to 12 and as for my second equation i don't really do anything to it i just leave it as 2x minus remember that y has a coefficient of 1 so i'm going to put that 1 in front of the y and equals 4. And the reason I'm doing this is because when I enter this in the calculator, it just kind of reminds me that, that, that there is a 1 there. So what you can see is you've got the AX plus BY plus C. So that basically means that the A is the coefficient of X. So in my first equation, the coefficient of X is 3. Click on Enter. Now I'm going to B, which is the coefficient of Y, which happens to be 6. And finally, C, which is the constant by itself. In this case, it is going to be 12. It automatically moves me to the second equation. For the second equation, I have 2 as my A value because that is the coefficient of X. Then the coefficient of Y. Remember the, how I put it as a 1 there? But except I've got to keep in mind that it's actually negative 1. So I'm going to put negative 1 as the coefficient of Y. And finally, the last constant, which equals to 4. Click on that and I press EXE again, and what you'll get is the values for X and Y. Now, in some cases, you actually get numbers that are recurring, so you will be given the fraction uh, equivalent of that particular answer uh, somewhere here. So in this case, we can actually say that X is equal to 2.4, and then we also can say that Y is equal to 0.8. Now, as mentioned before, if, a, if it is a recurring a decimal, it'll just go up to three decimal places. Now, just in case you want to actually see what that looks like, let's just try this out. I'm going to put this as 11 at the moment. I'm sure that's going to give me some nice... There we go. So as you can see, one of the solutions happens to be 2.3333, but in here, it's actually showing you the fraction equivalent of that particular answer. And as you can see, we've got 0 0.6666, which is a recurring decimal, and that is equal to two thirds. All right, folks, that pretty much covers um, on how to calculate or how to solve simultaneous equations on this particular graphics calculator.